What's going on, everybody? It is Tuesday. I'm doing double video day. I wasn't going to come live, but I figured I'd just do a regular video on this. Um, if most of you don't know, PSA just submit, suspended all submissions, all levels, and up and through July 1st, all right? So let me pull that up here real quick, and I'm going to explain it because I actually got to talk to a rep today. So if you guys see at the bottom here, alert, as of today, which is March 30th, PSA has temporarily suspended the acceptance of most submissions. We are currently not ex uh, accepting value, economy, regular, or express orders. We will take a tiered approach to reintroduce these services. Our goal is to bring all, that means all of them, back by July 1st. So that's three months, right? So first thing I know people are going to say is that sucks. And then people would have um, memberships going, oh, I just wasted three months. Well, I checked my membership. They added three months to it. So they hooked everybody's membership up. And they, you know, gave you an extra three months onto it right now. It's already on your accounts. The thing that I was told was that's their goal. And what they're going to do is once they're caught up on Express, then they'll, you know, release Express back into it. Once they're pretty much caught up on regular, it'll come back. Same with economy. Same with value. But right now, they're bombarded, and they cannot keep up with the workflow because everybody slammed them. Th this was going to happen eventually, regardless. Um, I figured it would happen a little bit earlier, and I'm going to give them a little bit of kudos here, which I know a lot of people aren't going to agree, but listen up on to why I'm doing it for you. You know, you can tear me apart in the comments, everybody. Beckett did it for like two or three weeks, and they just said it was for COVID only. And they came right back into it. They never caught up. If PSA could catch up, then, yeah, it might, you know, it might be in benefit. But, you know, they're going to get slammed again. Maybe they put some caps on to how much you can send in per quarter per month, which would be helpful just to get everything back in. Because you got to think about it. Prism comes out tomorrow. Select footballs in a couple weeks. Um, Tops Chrome, that's end of July. I forget the other products I was just talking about, too, with this stuff. But there's a bunch of high-end products that people are not going to be able to get graded unless you want to spend Super Express or next day. So that can get pricey, as you all know. Um, but at least they put it out long enough, and with a tiered approach, you know, I'm satisfied with it. I understand what's going on. You know, at the same time frame, yeah, I'm a little bit upset. I can't mail anything off probably for a couple, maybe a month or two. Because look at it this way. Express is out about a month right now. They're backed up. So probably by end of odd April, it'll come back, you know, one May for Express. You're probably looking at regular maybe, you know, one June-ish time frame. And then probably economy, you know, because they are they only have got about two months left from what I've seen of economies left from last October. So that might come out maybe a week after, you know, regular is done or back up. But then value, value might be a while because there's a lot of value out there. But, you know, it's the nature of the beast and they got caught up. So I'm just curious, where's everybody going to? SGC? I mean, we know HGA is limited and you got to beat the lethal lottery. SGC said they're ready. I don't know if they're ready for this. To be honest, I mean, you guys let me know in the comments. Do you think SGC is going to be ready? Beckett's way, way, way behind. GMA, I am not using them. Um, th this is this is kind of big offhand. I mean, you're talking the big chunk of people not being able to grade for a while, especially some of the bigger products coming out. And when it does open back up, how quick are they going to be bombarded? I mean, think about this. When value opens up, I might have to send a 300-card value in just from the stuff that I have. Um, and that's expensive across the board. I mean, 300 cards is probably, what, about, I don't even know, 6,000-ish? I'll have a calculator up on my phone. or I'd, What actually I do now? I mean, 300 times 25. Oh, $7,500 for 300 cards. I mean, that's a big chunk of change that you got to get out there so you could be one of the first to get them back, overnight it there, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm not listening to opinions what everybody thinks and everything on to it. You know, I, I can understand. Sorry, guys, that's my 
work computer. It was acting screwy, so you hear the beeping in the background. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just curious what everybody's plan is. Do you, are we just going to wait till PSA comes back? Are we going to try to get everybody going to try to jump to Beckett, SGC? Because here's my thing is that you jump to another company, is it going to be just for short term to hurry up and flip? Because are those cards then going to be raised up in value? Are they going to, people going to buy them and then crack them? There, there's all kind of things to think about here. And with this just happening here within the past couple of hours, because uh, I wanted to reach out to most people that I do the orders for and let them know. I, I missed a few. But uh, I don't know. Um, it, it's one of them double-edged swords to me. You know, I always talk about it to where it sucks, but I understand why. But they're planning on getting this stuff back in. They really need to cap it. So if you work at PSA, I would cap everybody, memberships, dealers, everybody, that you could only send in X amount of value per month, like whatever it may be, 200 cards, of, you know, an account. I know it sucks for dealers. Maybe you make them at 1,000 or whatever per month. But just so you don't get bombarded like you did end of February, because everybody found out you were raising prices, and next thing you know, you get freaking 3 million cards in the mail over everything, you know. I, I would really look hard into the part when you reopen and tear it back in, because I don't see you getting a real big, you know, gamble on Express. Regular might, you know, be a little bit slowed out, because people are bombarded a little. Economy, yeah, that'll probably get hit hard. But value on them all is going to be bombarded. I know it now because I can just see people's orders trying to figure out what prism basketballs to send in at each level and all that. But I wanted to get this video out to everybody so everybody understood Yeah, They did suspend it all. They're going to tear it back. Um, if you do have a membership, they, they add three months to your account. It's already on there. Uh, the submit button is going to tell you that it's dead right now, basically. It'll pull it up, but there's an error message at the top. I think what they're doing is trying to pull the services off of there so that you can only submit, submit Super Express in, like, same day or whatever it's all called for the huge, huge cards. But let me know in the comments, you know. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people upset about it. But I want to know what your plan is, you know, an approach are you going to wait it out and just, you know, still send in afterwards? I mean, I'm sending 20 orders out right now. Um, are you going to jump onto another grading company with low-end stuff and just wait for the higher-end stuff? Just, just curious where everybody's going to, you know, go with it offhand. Myself, I'm going to wait, wait it out. If I get something I have to send to Beckett or if it's that big that I got to send it to PSA for, like, $300 plus, then so be it. It's a big card. But I'm thinking, like, if I hit other stuff that I don't wouldn't be comfortable with being a PSA 10, I'll just two-day it at Beckett or one-day it. It's going to be the same price regardless. At least it'll be a 9.5. I'll be more comfortable in getting it, especially thicker cards like NT, iMac, stuff like that. But I think I hit all the areas that I was talking about earlier with everybody. Um... Trying to make sure I got all the information out because this was like shotgun blast onto it all. But let's see how it, I'm going to see how it unfolds. I'm sure I know there's new graders that are being trained there right now, so that's at least going to give them time to get these new graders in there and trained and you know be able to handle an influx. But my gosh, the amount of cards those guys must have. And you got to really feel for it. If you're a grader there, whether you like them or not, and no matter what the myth is, or they have a bad day, they kill your cards, whatever it may be, the guy must have had a great day, or the girl must have had a great day because you got all 10s or like 80% 10s. You got to think they still come to work. They still do their whatever grade they're going to give you that day, I guess based on how they feel or whatever you know the myth is out there. Um, and they're still providing the service. But you know for a fact, they're putting in some hours to catch up down there. Big hours. And, whew. I mean, I, I don't know what else is going to be the plan. Be prepared tomorrow or Tuesday for an email out from uh, 
Mr. Sloan, and if I get one early enough, I'll try to get a video out onto it. Uh, just so everybody's aware, I don't know how many people get those emails off of it. I think you have to be a member only, maybe. I'm not sure. But that way, at least everybody's tracking it offhand. And if you do send through me, I'm just holding everything right now. And I'll prepare to uh, uh, probably have to take a personal day when stuff starts reopening so we can get stuff out and be one of the first ones in and out of there. Because I know there's a lot of orders out there. We'll just see how it all staggers out, honestly. But all right, everybody, appreciate you watching the video. If you're new to the channel, like always, hit that subscribe button. And I am out. I will catch you guys. Hopefully, maybe we get an order in next Friday before the auction. If not, uh, I'll figure something out. I'll try to figure something out, I promise. All right, talk to y'all later.